I'm going to show you guys how to pass your driving road test first time. My name is Mendy Parmi. I'm going to share with you my secrets on how to pass your driving road test the first time, no critical errors. So stay tuned. There are a lot of videos on YouTube on how to pass your driving road test, but people still fail. Why? Because they don't follow the process. Let me tell you, everything that we do in our lives, we go through a process and driving is no different. I'm going to give you this process and if you follow the process, you will pass your driving road test first time easily. As you know, in your driving road test, your examiner will ask you to do left turns, right turns, lane change, parallel parking and some residential area as well. If you do something wrong, your examiner will deduct points. Now some mistakes, they are general mistakes and some mistakes, they are critical errors. But if you follow my process, there will be no general errors and there will be no critical errors in your driving test. And you will pass with a big smile on your face. So let's look at this process. We are going to divide this process into three different steps. Step one is you will ask questions to yourself. Step number two, based on your experience and knowledge, you will answer those questions. Step number three, you will take action. So let's go in the car and look at some examples. As you're driving towards this parked car, you will ask yourself what are the general errors and critical errors going around a parked car then you answer based on your knowledge and your past experience so general errors will be if you don't signal and if you don't shoulder check that will be general error what are the critical errors if you're going too close to a parked car that's a critical error so in order to pass your driving test the first time we will signal left and we will also do left shoulder check and we will also maintain at least three to four feet distance from the parked car so we don't get any critical error in this situation here we also see this oncoming traffic there is a white car coming from the front if i signal right now then it's misleading because this driver might think that i'm turning left onto this side street here so that means i have to wait and when i'm halfway through the intersection that's when i signal and shoulder check so now I signal left, I shoulder check and then I go in the left lane, maintaining my distance from the parked car. After, after that car, I pull back to my side. Now I see a stop sign coming up. So I ask myself again, what are the general errors and critical errors here? Now the general errors will be, let's say your, your examiner asks you to turn left. If you don't put the signal on, that's a general error. And if your signal is wrong, instead of putting left signal on, if you give right signal, that will be a general error. What about the position of the car? If you're turning left, then you should stay closer to the center of the street within three feet. If you're more than three feet, that will be a general error. It could be a critical error as well, depends on the situation. What are the other critical errors as we are approaching this intersection? The other critical error could be uh, your speed. Now your speed depends on uh, the road condition and the weather condition. If you are taking your driving test in winter and the roads are slippery, then you always have to adjust your speed according to the road condition. So now we are uh, ready to make a full stop here. Then you ask yourself, where do I stop? The first thing you look for is the stop line. If you don't see a stop line, then you look for sidewalk. And if you see a sidewalk, then you stop before the sidewalk. Now, what are the critical errors and the general errors here? The critical errors will be if you don't make a full stop, that will be a critical error. Now it's a four way stop sign and we are turning left. The other critical errors could be, let's say, if somebody else came before you and you are trying to go first before them, that will be a critical error. Because if they came before you, then they get the right of way. The other critical error could be, you came before other car, but you are letting them go first. Now that will be a critical error as well. So here we make a full stop before the sidewalk and looks like this white car here actually came before us so we're gonna let them go first 
so they are already moving and we're gonna start moving as well now what about the speed when you're turning left your speed should be between 15 and 20 kilometers now what about the lane after the left turns we will imagine a yellow line in the middle of the street and we will stay closer to the yellow line on the right side of the yellow line we are going straight here what about the speed uh, if you don't see a speed limit sign that means that in manitoba the speed limit is 50 kilometers now what are the general errors and critical errors here if you go over the speed limit that will be a critical error and if you're driving too slow without any reason in 50 zone if you're driving at let's say 25 kilometers or 30 kilometers that will be a critical error now what about the general error if you are let's say in 50 zone if you're doing about 39 or um, 38 kilometers that will be a general error if the road is empty and the weather and the road condition is good so here we see another stop sign coming up so we're gonna same thing here we will ask ourselves same questions what are the general errors and what are the critical errors so as you're driving every pretty much every second you're asking yourself questions you're answering your questions and you're taking actions based on your past experience based on your um, knowledge and that's gonna really engage you with the process and when you're engaged with the process it's nearly impossible to fail your driving test let's say your examiner asks you to turn right on the next intersection as you are approaching to the intersection you will observe everything so you're asking questions to yourself how do i pass my driving test here what are the general errors and what are the critical errors so here we see a solid white line that means you cannot change lane and after that we have a railway crossing coming up then you ask yourself okay what are, what should i do on a railway crossing by the rules on a railway crossing you physically have to move your head and look both ways you can also cover your brake so you slow down a little bit now we have a right turn coming up so what are the general errors here and what are the critical errors the general errors will be if you don't put the right signal on that's going to be a minor mistake the other minor mistake would be if you're too far from the right curb a lot of time from my experience i notice when students are driving um, they start checking on the left side too soon and they don't focus on their car and the car will start to drift to the left side here so you have to stay closer to the right side and when you're in the middle of this triangle here or before the exit line that's when you check on the left side then you ask yourself what are the critical errors in this turn uh, critical errors would be if there is a pedestrian on the sidewalk if you don't stop for pedestrian that will be a critical error if you're going too close to this traffic here to this car here that will be a critical error as well because your examiner doesn't know if you're going to stop there or if you're not going to stop especially if you're taking your test in winter time on icy roads and the other critical error would be this uh, now this is a yield so if there is a traffic coming from the left side and if you don't stop for the traffic that will be a critical error so let's um let's move so there was no one on the sidewalk so now we see a yield sign so here you will check on the left side and make sure the lane is clear before you continue so what are the critical errors here if there is a traffic coming from this side here if you don't stop for the traffic that will be a critical error now what else let's say if the intersection is totally empty and if you stop without any reason that will be a critical error as well so you're always asking questions to yourself as you're approaching um, to that intersection and uh, based on your experience your past um, knowledge and everything you do your best to answer those questions and you take actions to pass your driving test the first time so after that um, as you are going to before you exit um, from the yield then you ask yourself another question which lane should i go in now by the rules you're supposed to go in the closest lane if you go in the middle lane or in the far lane that will be a critical error as well after your turns uh, then you look for a speed limit sign so so far on this street here there was no speed limit sign but now we see a speed limit sign on the right hand side at 60 kilometers then you remind yourself that i need to stay between 50 and 60 kilometers if i go over the speed limit sign that's going to be a critical error and if i'm driving too slow 
without any reason road condition is good traffic is good and if I'm only doing in 60 zone if you're if I'm only doing about 30 kilometers 35 or 40 kilometers that will be a critical error and you're also maintaining distance from the other cars so you're always asking question every second as you're driving you're in encountering new situations you're going through different situations you're asking yourself um, how do I pass my test here what are the critical what are the general so for example on this um, in this situation here now we have this blue truck trying to make a u-turn or maybe he's going into this parking lot we don't know but you still want to be cautious because here we get the right of way so we don't slow down for this truck unless he's already right in front of you okay but if he's just waiting on the side here we don't slow down we will maintain our speed if we start slowing down we are blocking all the traffic behind us we are interfering with the traffic that's behind us and that can result in critical error so these are the things this is your thinking process and uh, you always want to put that thinking cap and um, as you're driving ask yourself all these questions answer your questions and that's gonna get your license um, you will you will pass the very first time